Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first lecture on green marketing since we took the basics of marketing back in the previous module. Now what I'm going to be focusing on here is talking about what exactly is green marketing because a lot of people have very um, very wrong impressions about it or in other cases very shallow impressions on green marketing and I want to try to give a basic and solid understanding before we move forward. So what exactly is it that you always hear companies talking about or consumers talking about? What is this green marketing? So first let's start with what are the perceptions that people have or uh, to be more exact the misperceptions of green marketing. Now, usually when people hear it actually used by companies and so on, you end up finding out that it's just a gimmick. It's just a way to for companies in order to increase their sales of products. Now, of course, depending on where you live, this may vary to a great degree, but if there are no strict regulations on usage of terms like organic or environmentally friendly or recyclable, uh, recyclable or something like that, the term will be really badly abused. And you actually might find this a lot in uh, America where organic has very, very loose regulations on its usage. And so you'll find a large, large quantity of different products being mass produced very close to the traditional way, just taking an organic label. Green having absolutely pretty much no um, regulations on it whatsoever, you'll find it everywhere. And in many ways, it is meaningless in the way that it's used now. Now, green can also, in some cases, either to people or to companies, mean just using recyclable or decomposable materials. A good example of this is, um, for example, when you look at like a, a famous coffee shop like Starbucks or something like that and saying that their napkins are made out of recyclable, uh, recycled material or their cups are recyclable or something like that. And while, yes, it is a good step, yes, it is better than the alternative, it falls well, well short of what we usually consider to be green. Another misconception that we're going to talk about in more detail in a little bit is that green marketing equals corporate social responsibility. And this is um, a very dangerous concept because in many ways they're very different from each other and equating them is, is very wrong. Now, corporate social responsibility is a very good um, idea and it's something, once again, we're going to talk about a little bit in more detail on how they differ. but you cannot say that green marketing and corporate social responsibility are the same, although there are some overlapping. Finally, we have the misconception that green and sustainability concepts are incompatible with modern marketing. Now, a lot of people may be cynical and saying, you know, in companies and, and, and um, modern business and so on is incompatible, is cannot be applied with the concepts of sustainable development. However, even that is, is a misconception. There are, albeit yes, very few, but there are some modern businesses and modern firms that truly integrate the concepts of green marketing and sustainable development in a way that really gets to the heart of it. And um, I believe in, in coming modules, we will be talking about one or two of these companies as an example. But the whole point of this course is to show not only, uh, of course, that the way that uh, green marketing is applied is basically completely wrong on many different levels, but it's also the point is to point out how it can be applied, how it can be used in the modern world, in modern business context, and we've seen the paradigms that we all know and apply. So what is green marketing? Green marketing is a new paradigm in the marketing literature and practice. It is a completely new strain of thought within it. And it is so new that actually a lot of people can't even agree upon uh, what exactly it is or means. And you'll see a large debate within the literature. And I'm really, this is not um, a lecture to really go into the heart of that debate. It's, it's far beyond uh, the scope. But just there is a lot of, of um, arguments within it. And so what I want to give are the general fundamentals, the general things that basically everyone can agree on as to what is green marketing. Now, green marketing is, this is very important, a holistic approach towards integrating marketing within the pillars of sustainable development. Now, what this means is that I'm not interested in saying, oh, well, I made this cup 
um, a little bit more sustainable. Oh, uh, I got these coffee beans for, by paying the farmers a little bit more. Oh, I got this aspect from... I'm not interested in that. Green marketing is a holistic approach, a complete approach. I take the green marketing aspect from many different angles, from all of its different angles. Now, it doesn't all have to be exactly at the same time. But it, I need, but it needs to be done with the idea that just doing it piece by piece or being reactionary and whenever you know customers start complaining, oh, I addressed this issue, that is not green marketing. Now, finally, as mentioned before, it's not just a separate or parallel approach. Um, CSR is often actually taken that way in which you'll have just You'll have the marketing effort on one side, and then you'll have the CSR approach on another side, and both doing completely different things. The marketing, doing advertising, trying to increase sales, trying to do, and then you'll have uh, what's called the CSR going around and trying to do initiatives, trying to engage the community, trying to... This is not what green marketing is. Green marketing integrates everything together into one single approach. The product and the service and the way that it's provided is a part of the social responsibility is the part of the benefits that it provides. Now let's start at the beginning. Now we said that green marketing has to do with sustainable development. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's look at sustainable development. Sustainable development includes, of course, according to certain perspectives, there are different perspectives. According to some perspectives is that it includes economy, ecology, society, and culture, although not necessarily in this order. Usually there is um, no specific order to the idea. It's just simply that these are the four pillars. And all four of these together make up what we know as sustainable development. But what does this mean? What this means is, is that when I'm addressing or trying to implement a green marketing strategy, I need to think about the economy, meaning not the economy as a whole, I'm not talking about the macro impact, but I'm talking about on the even on the company level, I still, even though I want to do something for society, even though I want to do something that will benefit people, I still want to make a profit. In the end, that's why the company exists. It exists to make a profit. But at the same time, I don't want to harm the local ecology. I don't want to do something that will cause major, major pollution or disrupt certain um, ecological systems or anything like that. At the same time, I need to realize that my company is part of a broader society. It is something that is integral to the society, to the surrounding communities. It is not only within it, it not only depends on it, but it is a part of it and it contributes to it. The jobs that it provides, the, the, the position that it has, the products that it gives, all of that is integral to it. Then finally, we have the cultural aspect, which can relate to the culture that the company has towards either its, both its employees as well as to its consumers and how it brings off that culture and how it develops that culture. Each of these four pillars represents a critical aspect to consider when, it talk, when you're talking about sustainable development and talking about green marketing. Now, when I said that green marketing is, is different from CSR, what does that mean? Well, like I said, CSR is just a parallel structure, although once again, this is not true for all cases of CSR. It is true for the vast majority of, of cases. A, a good example, for example, is, is um, a company like Lafarge that, uh, that is one of the biggest um, uh, cement manufacturers in the world. And um, although now it's, uh, it's sort of merged with a company, I forget exactly which, and it's now, I think, the biggest. Anyway, um, now, Lafarge also had a really big CSR initiative in which it would rehabilitate um, certain ecological landscapes and would help the society and make certain reserves and all these things. But when you think about it, the kind of process that they used is two very different things. On the one hand, they are a very, very highly polluting industry making a certain product that is very much not environmentally friendly, although still necessary for many different things. And then on the other hand, they're sitting and donating to um, preserve certain fields and habitats and all these things. 
this is what we want to try to avoid with screen marketing. You're not just doing one thing you could say that harms the environment and then trying to balance it out later with screen marketing. No, green marketing is integrated within the very product that you are applying. Now, CSR can often have good intentions and it can have really good results. I'm not arguing against the importance of CSR. In fact, CSR is, is often like a step or two behind um, green marketing. It's very important to begin implementing it, but it in itself does not constitute as green marketing. What we want to do is we want to take into account everything, every aspect within the marketing effort, from the advertising, to the promoting, to the, uh, the, the, the positioning, to the way, to the very idea of what is the product that you have, what are you giving, all of these together constitute the green marketing. And we're going to dive into that more detail within uh, the next couple of modules. So in the end, what is green marketing? Now on the surface, green marketing is a way that can bend the traditional concepts of marketing, like value and pricing and segmentation and advertising and branding and all these things, and turn them more sustainable purposes. And this is true. But in actuality, it's far more complex and continuous. It is a continuous process of improvement and evaluation that is a much bigger approach towards sustainable development. It is truly one of the biggest challenges that we might find is trying to really implement green marketing on an institutional level. And I think the start of doing something like this is first understanding what is green marketing, how can it be implemented, see those very, very few examples of green marketing that are implemented around the world, and then we can actually start to understand and start to make our way towards implementing a true green marketing strategy. Thank you all for listening. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed um, this lecture. Uh, I'm going to leave at the end of uh, the module a, um, a paper that uh, was a good source of information on these issues, and I think it gives a very good introduction to the general uh, aspects of green marketing, taking it from a more practical approach, seeing why some companies implement um, aspects of it, why they don't implement it, etc. It's a very interesting read. I would suggest you uh, give it a, uh, a look, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.